welcome to Looking Good. And tonight we're going to give you a chance to do just that. Ten lucky viewers will each win a $2,000 fashion wardrobe. We'll have details later on. Also tonight, we'll tell you all the tricks to buying the perfect pair of jeans. We'll show you how to make sure your hands don't give away your age. And we'll take you to Paris to visit the home of the world's most expensive jewellery. But first, here's Joe with a story that should inspire all you men out there. What do you get if you take two big bookie blokes? Will he get there? Yes. Brush off the mud. Right hand past the ground. Well off the left. Another one. And send them off to finishing school. A very strong jawline. A transformation that would amaze even Cinderella. Jack Elskill scores a brilliant try. Winning performances don't end on the field. These days, many sports stars are adding a little bit extra to their training. Um, it involved just taking off a few of my rough edges and um, just trying to make myself a little bit more presentable. Here we are, here we are, here we are today. Personal development courses aren't about changing macho guys into simpering male models. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. They're all about teaching self-confidence, whether you're a sportsman, a salesman or a student. And Carlton football player Fraser Brown agreed he too could do with a bit of polishing up. By his own admission, he's... A bit rough. <laughs> no, ah, uh, well... Fraser, what things do you think you need to develop off the football field? Ah, uh, well, I suppose public speaking, talking to groups, uh, dealing with the media when the camera's actually on you individually, mm -hmm. you know, those sort of things, just being able to handle it. Don't take any notice of the video, just look my way and tell us a bit about yourself. I grew up in a town out in Lillydale. Uh, Courses vary according to each person's needs, and, uh, but usually involve nine sessions over two months. So what are the tricks of the trade? Well, most important is learning how to speak clearly. Also be aware of your body language and maintain eye contact. All this helps to project a confident, friendly image. Students also see themselves back on videotape to help learn how to correct any faults. At the beginning you're a little bit hesitant and a bit self-conscious, but as you got into it, you actually were flowing really well. And you've got a really friendly smile and you're easy to watch. No, that's nice to know. Yeah. <laughs> your cuff can be a little bit lower than, you, than your sleeve of your jacket. That is quite acceptable. But you must also learn to look the part. Jack's course covered how to pose for a photo session and strut the catwalk. Fraser, when's the last time you had a haircut? Well, actually, cut it last week before the game. Cut it myself before the game. But Fraser settled for just learning a little more about personal grooming. Oh, I just had a pair of scissors at home. We only have one pair and I found them and hacked through the front. So it was off with the shaggy locks and on with the suit. Oh, wow. Have a look at you. Fantastic. What do you think? Transformation? Mm, looks all right. What about your hair? Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad? Mm. Just okay, I haven't had it this short for a long time, so I'll have to get used to it, I suppose. Well, I guess it'll grow, but I think it looks really good. It gives your face a bit of structure. Open your eyes. <laughs> That's great. Jack and his football club are already reaping the benefits of his image makeover. Photographic shoots like this one for Dolly magazine and a swag of new sponsors are all boosting his profile. Do you think a lot of the players would go and do these courses? Um, no, I'd say 90% of them would be fairly reluctant in and, uh, enrolling themselves in such a course. Why is that? Um, because it's not really the football image, although it is turning that way slowly. I think the most important thing, particularly young fellas, or any person that's in the limelight, it's pretty important that you look the part. Mm -hmm. And I think you have an obligation, not only to yourself, but to the club you represent. I agree with that. Too. Well, you're going to go around now, the first thing people will say to you, there's Fraser Brown. Mm -hmm. He's the best dressed man in football. Mm -hmm. Well, the second best dressed, I'd have to say Lou Richards was, of course. <laughs> I'm looking good.